This is a continuation of section 9.6, and we're dealing with polar coordinates. And in this specific example, we are going to be taking the coordinate that's rectangular and turn it into a polar coordinate. Plot the given point in a rectangular coordinate and find two sets of polar coordinates for the point between 0 and 2 pi. All right, let's plot the point. 0, negative 5. So we're down 5 here. Right there. All right, so with that being said, let me go ahead and put that point back in there with a different color. Down 5. All right, well, what we need to know in order to do polar coordinate is we need to know the R value and we need to know the theta, the angle. Well, if, uh, you know, here we, we're exactly right on the axis. So if this was a circle going about the axis, then this point is five units from the center. So I actually know that um, my R value here, my R value is five. And I also know that my theta is, I got to go um, in a positive direction because I'm going from 0 to 2 pi. So positive direction would be going all the way around to 3 halves. So theta is 3 halves. So my first polar coordinate is 5 and 3 halves pi. Now I'm not able to list 5 and, and negative 1 half pi because that doesn't fall within the domain. So instead, what I need to do is how we listed our polar coordinates, I need to um, identify the one that is the negative 5. And so negative 5 would be the reflection, which is located on the top, and that has a positive pi over 2. So there you have that represents the two polar coordinates. All right, let's try to find um, the same information for example B. First of all, let's plot the point. Root 3 over root 3, down 1. Okay, so I'm about right here. All right, well, in order for us to find the R value is you've got to create this little triangle here. Okay, this is the point that we are referring to. And we can do the Pythagorean theorem. So we've got x squared, square root of 3 squared, plus y squared, negative 1 squared. This equals the square root of 3 squared 3 plus 1, which is 4. And so r is equal to 2. Now theta. In order for us to find theta, we need to do inverse tangent of, and see that this is my negative 1, and this is the root 3. So inverse tangent of negative 1 over the root 3. You can either use your calculator <clears throat> or um, in degrees, or you can use your unit circle. But at any rate, what we know is that theta, <coughs> theta would have to be um, the angle 11 sixths pi. Or you might have gotten negative 30, okay? But we don't want to use negative 30, again, because it's got to be in radians and 0 to 2 pi. So negative 30 translates into 11 sixths. So here are my coordinates. I've got my r value is 2 and 11 sixths pi. And then I would do a coordinate. Um, I have to do the reflection. And the reflection would be over here. And see, that would be um, negative 2. And you do the radian measure to get to that point, which would be 5 sixths pi. And those are the two points. All right, so in order to find your polar coordinate, you got to find r and find theta. All 
All right, in this next example, we are going to be working with some equations, uh, polar equations, rectangular equations, and we're going to translate from one form to another. In these three examples, we're going to take um, the rectangular equation. See, this is a circle, a line. This here um, is an ellipse. And then, you know, we've got a different style here, um, some sort of cubic with the, with the y to the third. But we're trying to um, change the rectangular equation and write it in polar form. If we want to write it in polar form, um, so this is example A, what you need to do is you, ne you need to replace your x's and y's with the polar relationship. So x is r cosine theta, so I'm x squared, and then y is r sine theta, and that's squared, and equals 16. So what we have here is r squared cosine squared theta plus r squared sine squared theta equals 16. So we're trying to get this down so that we have an equation in terms of r, because r would be a polar equation. Um, either equation in terms of r or cosines or sines. Here um, you have an r squared, so I can factor out an r squared, and I'm left with cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 16. Well, cosine squared plus sine squared is 1, so r squared is equal to 16, and that indicates that r is equal to 4. So again, since r would be the radius of a circle, okay, with the polar coordinates, 4 would be positive. And there you have it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at example B. So we're going to replace the x and y with the sines and cosines. So B here, we've got 4 times r cosine of theta plus 7 times r sine of theta equals or minus 2 is equal to 0. Well, what we're going to want to do here is the, the main goal is that we want to try to isolate the r, like get the r so it's condensed into its own um, fraction or into, into its own expression. So this is 4r cosine theta plus 7r sine theta equals 2. I'm just going to move the 2 over to the other side, and I can factor out an r. So r would equal 4 cosine theta plus 7 sine theta. And now I can't really replace the cosine and sine, but what I can do to solve for r is r is equal to 2 divided by this expression of 4 cosine theta plus sine theta, 7 sine theta. And that's it. Your goal is to write an equation in terms of r, r equals. All right, so those are the first two examples. And we'll, we'll go ahead and look at the next two here. Um, you kind of go through the same process. You want to replace all your x's and y's. OK, so here is example C. And um, you have to use pretty much anything that you are aware of uh, regarding circles and x's and y's. But if you want to think about this expression right here, what is x squared plus y squared? See, normally what we would do is we would replace the x with r cosine and to replace the y with r sine. But what is x squared plus y squared? I'm trying to show you a shortcut. x squared plus y squared is actually equal to r squared. That's the equation of the unit circle, or any circle. So we can just put that as r squared minus 8. I'm going to replace the y with r, and the y would be our sine of theta. So this is set equal to 0. And when you have expressions set equal to 0, the way that we solve them is by factoring. So again, I can factor out this r. It's r minus 8 sine of theta. 
And so we're going to go ahead and set each one of these equal to zero. What if r was equal to zero? And what if r minus 8 sine was equal to zero? Well, r cannot equal zero because then you don't have a circle. It's not polar. Okay? No. But you can do r equals 8 sine theta, and that actually is our polar equation. So final answer, r equals 8 sine theta. All right, the next problem here, uh, what we are going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and do some substitutions. Let's go ahead and substitute for the x squared and substitute for our y to the third. x squared would be r cosine theta squared equals, and then y would be r sine theta to the third. Well, let's go ahead and cube and square here. We've got r squared cosine squared equals r to the third sine to the third. And as I continue to solve this, um, my goal, I'm going to go ahead and move everything to the same side so I can do some factoring. I've got r to the second cosine squared theta e uh, minus r to the third sine to the third theta. This is equal to zero. So go, let's go ahead and factor what we know. So r squared, take that out. You've got cosine theta minus r sine to the third theta set equal to zero. Well, we know that r cannot equal zero, so r squared also cannot equal zero. So we can throw that portion out of our solution. But we do know that cosine theta minus r sine to the third theta, that can equal zero. So cosine theta would equal r sine to the third theta, and r, if you divide, would be cosine theta over sine to the third theta. So there is an equation right there. Um, there are some things that we can do here to try to um, write it so that there's not a fraction. Right now again I have r is equal to cosine and then sine to the third. Somewhere here this was a cosine squared, like that squared got dropped off so I'm just going to go ahead and continue to insert those, cosine squared theta over sine to the third theta. Again, um, this would be r is cosine squared theta over sine squared theta, and you can multiply that by one over sine of theta. I'm just splitting up the power of three. Well, cosine squared over sine squared, this is equal to cotangent squared theta, and one over sine is equal to cosecant theta. So there's just another way to represent that without fractions. But that would be your final answer, your, your coordinate, your polar equation. All right, in the next set here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our polar equation and write it in rectangular form. So example A, um, I am given, see that's an equal to here, R equals 2 cosine of theta. We want to replace all of the R's. We want to be able to replace them and replace all the cosines and sines. So all we have is x's and y's. One technique that we have is to multiply both sides here by r um, so that you get r squared. And if I multiply the other side here by r, here's what I have. I have r squared equals 2r cosine of theta. Now here's why that helps. Because r squared is actually x squared plus y squared. And the 2, if you group the r with the cosine, r cosine is equal to x. You can replace that. So here's what I'm replacing. I am replacing my r with x squared and y squared. And I'm replacing the r cosine with x. So that is the equation um, in rectangular form. And there's nothing really else that you have to do to that. Let's try the next one. Example B. Um, here's what I don't know. Well, first of all, we know that theta is equal to 
5 thirds pi. Um, if theta is equal to 5 thirds pi, you can pretty much take um, any ratio of the sides here. I can take any ratio of my sides. Um, what I've got to do here is if I take the tangent of theta and then the tangent of 5 thirds pi, see what we've got. Tangent of theta equals tangent of 5 thirds pi. The reason why I don't want to use sine and cosine is because they have r's in them. And we're, we're trying to get rid of all r's and all of um, my angles and things. Well, what I know about tangent of some angle is that it is equal to, um, tangent is equal to my y value over my x value. Tangent of some angle is equal to y over x. And tangent of 5 thirds pi, since it is in quadrant 4, it is equal to negative root 3. So if, as long as I just solve here, my y is equal to negative root 3 times x. Or either way, those are equations that are considered to be in rectangular form. All right, let's go ahead and jump and look at example C. So we are left we have r equals 3 cosine of 2 theta. Well, hear this. Cosine of 2 theta is a double angle. And we know that a double angle, a double angle can be rewritten, and it can be rewritten into the form of cosine squared minus sine squared. So we've got um, to go ahead and replace this with cosine squared yeah, theta minus um, sine squared theta. 201 starting at 320. Okay, so if I go ahead and, and finish this out, obviously I've got to figure out a way to, to um, get rid of my sine squares and cosine squares, and we will do that here in a little bit. Um, but I need some r's. I need r's on both sides. Um, I've got a power of 2 here on my cosine and sines. So I actually need to multiply both sides by r squared. If I do r squared to both sides, if I do r squared here to both sides, then I'm actually going to be able to replace my cosine and sine. So let's just see what we get. r to the third equals 3r squared cosine squared theta minus 3r squared sine squared theta. Okay, I'm going to work with this r to the third in a little bit, but r to the third equals, see this would be just 3x squared minus 3y squared. Another thing that we can do um, is with my r to the third is to replace two of them. So we have r times and r squared would be x squared plus y squared. I'm going to go ahead and take that 3 back out just for the purpose of maybe having it be helpful in the end. Okay, <clears throat> the only thing that we have to replace is this 1r. Well, I need an r squared. You can replace r's as long as they are r squareds. So I, I need to now square both sides. If I square both sides, this is what I get. I'm going to go ahead and come up here. Squaring both sides, I get r squared x squared plus y squared squared equals, and the other side would be 9 times x squared minus y squared squared. So this r squared here, this r squared is x squared plus y squared to the first power times x squared plus y squared to the second power, and then equals the 9 x squared minus y squared squared. Okay, so we kind of have a mess here, um, but for the most part, we just have one more step. We've got like parts here, so if you multiply x squared plus y squared to the first, 
times x squared plus y squared to the second, we get x squared plus y squared to the third. And the right side is 9x squared minus y squared. And there's really not any more that we can do. So we are done with this equation. And there, you may find that there's many different forms that you could finalize your answer, but this is as far as we are going to go. There is your rectangular equation. All right, we're going to do the, our last problem here, and so let's go ahead and find a new page for it. But um, example D is 6 over 2 cosine theta minus 3 sine theta equals R. Well, sometimes we try to get rid of the R. Sometimes the R just will help us. Um, we can maneuver all of the parts. Um, I really want this R to be replaced by something else. And um, if you can see down here in the bottom, I'm not able to get rid of the cosine theta or the sine theta unless I have an R with it. So what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 over R to get rid of the R here. Multiply by 1 over r, the whole thing. And what this is going to equal is 6 over 2r cosine theta minus 3r sine theta equals 1. Well, this 6 is over then 2r cosine is x minus r sine is 3y equals 1. Final step, multiply to the other side. So 6 equals 2x minus 3y. It's just a linear equation. That is it. So this concludes the polar coordinates and e equations. And here's your assignment.